YouTube, it's Jonathan, and today I'm doing a holiday party slash New Year's makeup look. This look is kind of very universal. You could use it for any special occasion. It's going to be a little bit highlighted and contoured. I'm not going to go super crazy with it. I want this to look really great in pictures, but I don't want it to be so contoured that I look crazy in real life. So without further ado, let's jump in, and I'm going to start by putting a little bit of lip balm on. This is the 8-Hour Cream from Elizabeth Arden. Then I'm going to spray my face with a little bit of Fix Plus from MAC. And to give my skin a lip from within glow, I'm going to be applying a bit of the Laura Mercier Radiance Primer. I'm especially making sure to get this onto the high points of my face and then taking it in a light layer everywhere else. I'm probably looking a little bit shiny right now, but that is okay because I'm going to powder the heck out of my face in just a few minutes. Next, I'm going to move on to foundation. This is the Born This Way foundation from Too Faced, and I'm just going to be applying this with a beauty blender. I wanted something with moderate to full coverage, but I still wanted a natural look, so I went with this one. That's foundation on. Now I'm going to move to a bit of concealer. I'm going to start with my Bare Skin Concealer from Bare Minerals, and I'm just going to apply this in sort of a large formation under my eye. I am going to be contouring, so I'm going to start that process now. Now by applying quite a bit of concealer here and I'm going to take it a little bit onto the side of my nose to sort of slim out the appearance of my nose. I've also applied a bit of that to the chin, the center of my nose, and just above my jawline. And now I'm just going to blend that all in with my damp beauty blender. And now that I look completely white as a ghost, I am going to use a little bit of YSL to Chiclat just into this inner corner of my eye where I'm super, super ultra dark on the outer corner of my eye where I need a little bit of extra brightness, under my brow bone, across my cupid's bow, and just between the brows. And then I'm actually gonna blend this in with my fingertip. Now before that concealer starts to crease, I am going to bake my under eye area. Today I'm gonna be using the Tarte Smooth Operator Loose Setting Powder, and again, I'm gonna use that on my damp beauty blender. I'm also gonna take that just onto the jawline. Since I am going to contour later, this is going to make that extra sharp. And then whatever's left on the sponge, I'm just going to bounce everywhere, and then I'm not gonna let that sit, I'm just gonna immediately dust this off. While my under eyes and jawline are baking, I am going to move on to my eyebrows, just to give that all time to sit and mesh and do its thing. Um, and doing my eyebrows is just the right amount of time I've figured out to let the bake sit. And of course, for my eyebrows, I am using Lancome's Le Sorcier Defini in Medium Ash. This is just my absolute favorite pencil. You can fill in your brows however you like, but make sure you use something long-lasting for a party. Those are my brows done. Before I dust away the powder, I am going to start with my contour. This is Taupe from NYX. This is one of their blushes, and I'm using that on a MAC angled brush, and I'm just going to start chiseling out the cheekbone. And now I'm going back to my powder brush with a little bit of extra product on it and dusting away the cheeks first, and then around the eye area. And all that powder just absorbed the concealer and set it on my face, and this is going to last literally all night and look amazing in pictures. It's basically going to keep my under eye area completely smooth and crease free. Now back into my NYX taupe blush, I'm going to go ahead and start adding a little bit more, going slowly, adding just a little bit at a time. I don't want this to end up looking too done. I want it to look like a natural shadow under the cheek, which is why this color is great because it's very gray toned almost, so it looks very natural. Next I'm taking a small amount of that product just around the outer edge of the hairline in the temple area. And then lastly with this product I am going to take a little bit just under the jawline. This part is important especially for guys who are contouring. It's going to give you more of that chiseled jawline effect. Um, it's going to make your jaw look just a bit sharper. That's the contour pretty much done. I am going to use a bigger, fluffier brush. This is a duo fiber brush from Real Techniques with a bit of bronzer. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Bronzer. I'm just going to swirl my brush around in here, dust it off on the back of my hand, and then just go in in circular motions just above where the contour is, sort of where the sun would naturally hit me. And this is going to blend out the top edge of the contour and make it look quite a bit more natural. Now we are contoured and bronzed. I'm going to move on to a little bit of blush. This is from Bourjois, and this is shade number 48. This is just a nice pink blush. You can use whatever blush tone suits your skin. I'm going to use that on a tiny stippling duo fiber brush just because I don't want to apply too much of this at all. I'm going to smile, and I'm going to place it right towards the back of the apple of my cheek and pull it upwards into the contour. I don't want to do it too much on the center or too much on the apple of my cheek because I do want this to look um, a bit more structured. Now moving on to a bit of highlighter. This is the highlighter from Marc Jacobs in 302 Close Up. I'm taking that on a setting brush from Real Techniques and I am dipping into the lighter two shades of this and I'm just going to hit that right on the high point of the cheekbone and down onto the apple of the cheek and under the brow bone. 
Switching to a smaller brush, I'm going to take just the lightest color into the inner corner. Seeing as this is a special occasion look, I want to do a little bit of something on the eyes, but I don't want it to be too crazy or overdone, so I am just going to take my NYX taupe blush on my MAC 217 brush and just run that through the outer corner of the crease and blending it up and in. Now that I've got all the powder and everything onto my face, I'm going to use my MAC Fix Plus again and just spray over everything. And that's just going to help everything mesh together and look a little bit less powdery. Now I'm going to give my lashes a good curl. And I'm applying a product to my lashes that I just started trying out. This is a sample from Benefit. This is the Their Real Lash Primer. It's a tinted primer and it is in the shade Mink Brown, which is really nice for adding definition to your lashes but keeping them a natural fluttery look. It's not going to make your lashes huge or thick, um, it's just going to really tint them and hold the curl and maybe give me just a little bit of length. Back with another layer of lip balm on my lips just to rehydrate them. There is a little bit of foundation and concealer on them. But that's okay because that's actually the look I'm going for. I'm going to take a little bit of natural lip liner from NYX just around the edges. And then right in the center of the lip because I want a very nude lip, I'm going to be taking my YSL Touche Eclat. And this is the finished look. It's a little bit more than I would wear for every day, which is why I'm calling it a holiday or New Year's Eve party look. This is probably similar to how I'll actually wear my makeup on New Year's Eve. I probably won't do quite as much because it's honestly not my style to be quite as done up. But I know that a lot of you have been requesting a contouring tutorial and a little bit of a heavier makeup tutorial. So that is what this look is. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Make sure you come back on Monday if you're wanting something a little bit more dramatic, a little bit smoky, a little bit glittery for the New Year's or for the holiday season because I'm going to be turning this base right here into something a bit more dramatic. Thank you so much for watching. Leave me a comment below telling me how you're going to be celebrating New Year's this year. And while you're down there, go ahead and open up my description box so that you can see all the links to my social media accounts. You can check me out on Facebook. You can also check me out on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. All of those things are at John John Talks. Click on my face now to be subscribed to my channel so that you can be here every Monday and Thursday for my new videos, and I'll see you next time. Bye!